I had always uh, wanted to be an engineer. Uh, as a little kid, I used to run around with extension cords, and when I got to be a pre-teens and a teenager, I used to fix TVs, which were new at that time. And I just loved electronics. I'm a person that can't fix a light switch. I'm not very technical, but I know what customers want. But uh, we actually hit it off as friends. We both were interested in developing new products. One of the key things in creating products and, and then companies is, is to look at the ideas and be able to tell if they're really good or not. Now, Mel and I have been good at that. We've looked at many, many, many ideas. And so there's two parts to it. Is it a good technology? And secondly, is the product idea good? It was a CAT scanner that we had developed and it was the only one available at the time that would do the whole body. We were light on our feet and innovative and we kept inventing a better scanner. We used to go to the Ramada Inn here in Solon and the reason we went there was because they had free chicken wings. And we would have our cocktails and chicken wings and plot someday having a business together. And that's when we discovered Invacare and the, and the story goes on after that. There's always been sort of a gap between informal education and the real world of making products and selling them. And I think this uh, idea that we have a case for what they call the think box is going to be a great idea in putting these things together. The reason I uh, uh, committed to uh, this project was number one, JB. And I hope that JB and I can help the next generation of young people uh, with vision uh, take some risks and do some things in Cleveland. So I'm pretty excited about the concept. You can't be afraid to try new things and to try using new technologies that come out because it, they just might hit and then you're gonna have a wildly successful product. So, you know, try things. Uh, if you fail, try something else. Don't give up, but just keep doing it.